to check out banggood.com for your RC needs. Where this kit came from. What's going on our YouTube? Part 5 of the TFL Racing Bronco Crawler Build for banggood.com. Got the body painted, finally. I gave up on the stripes. That uh, 3M masking tape I had was it's too old and the sticky, it was just pulling stuff right off of this, so I uh, repainted it. This is like a moss green, I believe. I don't know where the can went. Um, it's a little bit darker than the color that we did the interior, but I'm not repainting the interior because all the details work that we've already done so we're just gonna roll with it it took me uh, about three or four heavy coats of paint and wet sanding between uh, a couple days in between to get rid of the stripes that I had painted on the other base coat and the other light green and uh, it was a real pain in the butt but uh, I got it smooth and I put two really thick heavy coats of uh, that gloss paint, that uh, automotive clear coat that I had, and it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it, and luckily the just the regular old blue painter's tape kept the white edges of the grill looking decent, so it's good enough to go. Um, yeah, it's got a little bit of orange peel in it. I'm not going to color sand and, and go that far because... I'm just about tired of sanding RC bodies. My fingers are hurt. <laughs> so uh, this is where we're at. So the first part of this video, we're going to go ahead and get the body details done. And we're almost ready to uh, get it running. The problem is the battery connector is not long enough to reach the ESC connector for the battery. Because the battery is mounted in the very back and the ESC is against the firewall. So I need about a 3 inch extension on the battery connector and I'm not sure if I have the right Tamiya connectors to make one. We'll have to uh, cross that bridge when we get there but um, we're going to go ahead and move on along with the body. We've got to mount the headlights, put the grill stickers on, mount the windshield and the windshield frame and then once we figure out the battery we can go ahead and screw the body to the chassis and get a final look of this. I'm hoping to drive it. I won't I know it won't be tonight while I'm filming, but I'm hoping this, this video will end with a driving test of this truck because it I think it's gonna be a pretty good crawler. It now that I've got the battery in it, all the electronics, it's got pretty good range of motion. The balance and the, the suspension rebound and stuff seem right for the weight. Seems like a very well engineered design, so I'm anxious to get it out and try it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it won't be tonight, but hopefully at the end of this video we can add some add some driving video to it because it's about to storm here. So, let's get started. The first step is going to be all the little tiny grill decals. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Alright guys, so uh found the worst part of the kit, the stickers. They suck. They uh they're printed on like a clear paper. So using the X-Acto blade just to try to peel them up because they're punched. You can see, well that one fell through. They're punched all the way through the backing. So they're hard to separate from the backing. And just uh, trying to scrape them off with the blade to, to get them catch the edge of it. It was scraping the color off of it and it was just leaving a clear sheet. And then I got a bunch of those on and they just weren't sticking. So we're going to paint. I, it's going to be a pain, but I'm hoping with the clear coat it'll be a little bit easier. I'm just going to paint with a paint marker, flat black in those and white. And hopefully we can get it all off. And then I'll come back with a brush paint and do the blinkers. Because, uh, yeah, those stickers just weren't cutting it. I got the, uh, the gauge sticker to stick on the dash pretty well. But uh, there was wet paint involved, so I'm guessing that's why it wasn't trouble. All right, guys. So the uh, brush paint eh, looks pretty bad. I uh, went back with some uh, alcohol to try to wipe it off of the bars, 
and uh, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit longer and I'm gonna do another coat. Went ahead and hit the uh, blinker area with some translucent uh, blinker paint that I have, sold testers paint. Those came out alright, but uh, the grill still needs a <laughs> little bit of love. It's a shame the stickers didn't work because uh, that's very intricate. I was gonna, I considered cutting out the openings again, but I, I don't have a steady enough hand for the paintbrush. And I definitely don't have a steady enough hand with the Dremel to try to get in there and uh, cut that fiberglass. So we'll let it dry. Uh, now I'm going to move on and put the headlights on. And it's got these nice aluminum headlight buckets with lenses and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out while we're here. All right, guys. So uh, got it all together. Got everything lined up. The servo is a chirping. Got my headlights and my windshield on, the body mounted. I had a really hard time getting the battery in because uh, I need to make a jumper cable. But uh, I made it work for now so we can test drive it. So let's get this thing outside, see how it does. Broncos running and driving. Um, everything went well. I romped on it pretty good. You can see some of the video clip there. I was throwing up some dirt. It's at uh, Holmes Hobby Motors. Got plenty of torque. Um, I forgot to mention I had to take the uh, 
winch out, it didn't fit behind the body. It, I thought there was a little more room than there was. It mounted to it, but there just wasn't the space behind the grill, so we'll figure out another option for a winch. But um, yeah, I think after driving this a little bit, getting the shocks loosened up and the, the tires softened up, and you can already tell a little bit of difference of the tires there. Uh, they're giving a little more now they're dirty. But uh, yeah, it seemed real stable, real balanced. Very, uh, very planted. I didn't get too wild with it because it was getting dark and I didn't have enough time. But uh, yeah, I like it a lot better now that I've driven it because it seems pretty capable. So uh, yeah, next up for this, we'll, maybe we can do some custom stuff to it and uh, get some more driving time in on it. Get a get a feel for how it's going to perform. I get some better, uh, find a better course to crawl it on. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for more on this rig. And if you're looking for these, links are in the video description box. You can get them from banggood.com. And a uh, big thanks to them for sending this out to me and letting me do this video for you. So uh, thank you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.